I'm David Spurway, and I'd like to talk to you about IBM Setup Power Systems. I'd also like to talk to you about Lego bricks. Not exactly your IBM standard presentation, but Lego bricks tend to be more entertaining anyways. Let me talk to you about Lego bricks for a second. Lego bricks for me, after all, are an analogy to connect what we do in IBM and also what Lego does so very well. Lego does, after all, creations of models and be able to create excellent toys, to be able to create things and using your own imagination to come up with new and interesting ideas. IBM takes its bricks and creates things instead which are business solutions. So we can build business solutions using the IBM bricks, or we can build these Lego kit bricks instead and come up with new ideas. Lego, after all, have been making this for a long time, and you may well have experienced what happens if you stand on a Lego brick. What happens is not this. What happens instead is that it hurts if you stand on a Lego brick. This takes a considerable amount of pressure. It takes some, enough pressure, in fact, that you could actually build a very tall tower with these bricks. Very large amount of pressure indeed. And if you did squash them, then this happens instead of actually breaking. You can build tall towers, as I mentioned. This is the tallest tower they've made of Lego bricks so far. This has been created in Milan, and uh, this actually took in the region of 300,000 Lego bricks and a couple of thousand children, which we piled on top of each other. No, we piled the Lego bricks on top of each other and made a very tall tower, some in the region of 30 metres tall. You could, if you wanted to, and turned off air, uh, actually build a, build a tower sufficiently high to be the same height as Mount Olympus before the bricks on the bottom actually get squashed by the weight of the bricks above them. Very, very strong stuff indeed. Excellent for creating things. We have a science behind them. The little studs on the very top, uh, they connect into the bricks in something referred to as clutch power. This means the studs are very slightly larger than the space they're actually fitting into, which means they stick together in the way you want them to. And of course, you can take them apart, preferably not using your teeth. So, Lego provide the building blocks to be able to create interesting models. IBM provides the building blocks to be able to create business solutions. So why am I talking to you about Lego bricks? As I say, it's because I can see a connection between power systems and Lego. And let me briefly take you through what those are. Different areas, but let me sort of drill it down very quickly to what they are. Heritage, uh, a Lego has been around for 50 odd years. That They initially created the bricks using wood, there was a fire, and therefore that finished the wood bricks. Therefore they moved on to far more intelligent bricks than the bricks they use today, and they've been using those for a long, long time. IBM Power Systems, if I borrow slightly from the heritage of the mainframe, we've been around for 50 odd years. I can use the mainframe heritage because the same master inventor who created the virtualization we use in our mainframes was also the lead when it came to the creating the virtualization in IBM Power Systems. So I can draw on the mainframe heritage of 50 odd years and be the same there. Research and development. Lego continues to be uh, focusing on where they actually need to be, continually shifting their focus to make sure they're creating kits which are relevant and useful and interesting to the, the company, they, they, uh, interesting to the market, and therefore keep themselves relevant as they move forward. Of course, they also create excellent films, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Continue to create their focus and remain current. IBM Power Systems, we continue to invest. We've invested a billion dollars in Linux on power to make sure we're still relevant and useful and interesting in that space. We also invested $2.4 billion to come up with the Power 8 processor, which is what we use as our standard building block today. Also, we've invested $3 billion in the future, and so we know what we're going to create new building blocks in the future using things like graphene and carbon nanotubes. Market leadership. Uh, Lego bricks are now uh, trying to bring in a revenue in the region of $4.3 billion of revenue every single year. Doing very, very well, and fairly recently, there was a competition between who was the biggest Lego, uh, Lego kit competition between the largest manufacturer in the world and Lego overtook Mattel, which makes perfect sense to me because as far as I'm concerned, Lego bricks are far cooler than Barbie dolls. Uh, IBM, IBM Power Systems, we are the number one in the traditional Unix space and we also are doing very, very well there. If we're kind of talking to customers who are using other forms of Unix, generally it's because they want to get off that and move towards maybe ours, for example. Other competition also exists, but I'll mention that in a second. Reliability. When LEGO creates their LEGO bricks, approximately out of every million elements they create, only 18 don't pass quality control. Personally, from the LEGO kits I've created, I've never seen a LEGO brick that doesn't look like a LEGO brick should. And indeed, there are extra bricks in there to be able to make things more fun. IBM Power Systems reliability is a little bit different. Uh, inside of our power systems, our power rate processors, we have some in the region of 130 times more checkers to catch stuff before it goes wrong inside of a power system than we do the competition. Intel has in the region of 50, we have inside of our power rate processor something like 6,500 checkers to catch things before they go wrong, avoiding planned and unplanned downtime and keeping things running as they should. Security. 
A little bit of a tenuous link here, but for security inside of a LIGO brick, they are made with a tolerance of 0.002 millimetres to make sure that they are just so when you fit them together and they stick together the way they're supposed to. Security in power systems is a little bit different, but we have minimal advisories for our operating systems, the AIXs and the IBMIs of this world, have very small amount of numbers of security advisories or problems in that space. We also have excellent compliance reporting to be able to make sure that the auditors know that we are being compliant to things like payment card industry standards. Manufacturing. When LEGO create their bricks, they create a lot of them. They create 19 billion elements every year. When we are working at that scale, you can, of course, keep your costs down for actually creating your LEGO bricks in the first place. IBM Power Systems, we keep our costs down for creating our power processors by using something called the Common Platform. This is a grouping of IBM and Samsung and also global foundries. Samsung, of course, are the world's largest manufacturer of smartphones, creating several million smartphones every year. And I'm not saying that power processors run in smart Samsung phones, but I am saying that power processors are created on the same fabrication plants as the chips that Samsung made. And that means that we can actually keep our costs very low as well. When it comes down to cost, after all, LEGO themselves are seeing competition from LEGO clones. They did lose their patent on how to create LEGO bricks. There are, therefore, other bricks that look very similar, but from my eye, because I'm a little bit sad that way, I can see the differences, and when I plug them together, they don't hold together just the way I think LEGO bricks do. And therefore, competition does exist for LEGO, and some of that's about cost. But I think LEGO are still the ideal kits for creating solutions going forward if you want to build models like I do. Competition on the IBM Power System space is fundamentally coming from Intel, and that's also a lot about cost. We now, however, have solutions which cost very much the same as Intel, but perform rather better and also have the reliability characteristics you come to expect from power systems. Our larger boxes are more expensive, but the total cost of ownership solutions work extremely well, and so we can come up with excellent ideas here. So those are the different reasons why I see IBM Power Systems as being similar to LEGO bricks. And finally, what LEGO bricks, or what bricks rather, do LEGO use themselves? They use a lot of different things from IBM, lots of different kit, uh, bits and elements from there from they come up with, but fundamentally they're using bricks to create their own business solutions. They refer to it as uh, the uh, matrix, which I'll come to in a second, but they use IBM and SAP to create their particular uh, systems. They call it the LEGO matrix, and this is where they actually see their uh, minimal uh, bottleneck to growth, because IT can actually allow them to grow using our bricks. And so, to finish off, if you want to talk about bricks, feel free to come, to come and talk to us, and we can give you the bricks to be able to build business solutions. Thank you very much.